magic word. Hey, no pressure. Never graduated, but I school them like professor. Growing up, the world always told me I was lesser. Growing up, the world told me I could not address her. Well, there it is. Heart Stealer done. Another achievement, but most importantly, one more quest done for the quest game. I don't know. This is a horrible quest. It has sneaking. A sneaking doesn't work in RuneScape, so delete it from the game. But thank you, Mr. Fraxu, for the guide. It was really helpful. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, lad. Do you know about Pokemon battles, isn't it, bruv? Yeah, yeah. I swear that on old school, it takes so much more damage. Take it up. Get it. No, what you made. Thank you so much for playing. Boom. Oh, wait, hold up. <clears throat> We're not getting an explosion. Sad scam game. We're going to get the explosion now. Come on, yeah. I'm going to blow up my own cat. Boom, boom. Okay, well, the cat did it. Not being the small ring pop. I just want an explosion, okay? Listen, I'm a simple man. There it is. Rep catchers done actually not too bad the worst part was actually playing this flute thingy at the end because the wiki literally just doesn't tell you where to click and you have to constantly switch between this but thankfully play music one was able to help me out because the other runescape 3 guy from i'm scovid which really useful besides that but it just didn't tell you where to click and i just need it was literally as simple as oh page one click three page two click whatever number and yeah but still find it very funny that there's like an underground hidden um betting area for rat done it was very easy by the way the maze with searches so yeah do your quests bro do your do your rat catch it's not that bad easy game will this be level 160 117 already 117 already we all need to land three more levels nice um as i said in the previous clip as well i'm still on the penguins which today it's wednesday so i can do another like 40 points which is like another 500k experience so yeah today we uh we gained a lot of dungeoneering experience oak i have no idea what this mystery egg does but let's smash it oh does this do yeah go on oh players consider my load that's actually quite interesting oh oh okay hold on that means steers and gothics might actually be useful for stuff Fog. 130 invention well, yeah i'm just working on something that you will see in a moment but yes 130 invention guess it's a level i don't know you're probably wondering first of all why is he showing <laughs> A chest that is this bad but also what is he doing at barrows well i'm going to try to do a couple of bear runs every single day just so i can get uh some casey and get it get this done pretty much <laughs> hey gotten's plate body that's the first unique which is actually after the first clip so progress has been made i'll be curious i've done 171 kills and this is my log so it's not really that great really wonder how many of these we will get because these are still 40 mil so we actually will make some money which will be great nice let's go do two gotten pieces. by the way one thing that's really good about this uh pop up is when you quick loot you actually get something indicating you gotta loot because trust me i will miss any drop because they're so dark in my inventory but that's easy money yo in like 30 minutes 36 minutes or something of doing barrows obviously i got lucky with two pretty decent pieces making 4.4 mil is actually not bad if i do this every single day and i make like 5 mil a day that's sick that's an easy 5 mil a day that's like 35 mil a week if i don't get a forsaken amulet which is a plus 40 trade off this might actually make me some unexpected money <laughs> we need one one more recipe one and then we're done then we're done it's that simple we just need one easy Aaron's rope skirt let's freaking go bro two days in progress obviously i will still be getting pro dude i got double loot i got a torix helm holy moly dude i got double loot in that chest i got an Aaron's skirt and a torix helm yo we, we vibing bro oh wow i did not expect that I, that, that might have been in my emails dude that's not a two mil made easy game bro just get them all back to back no oh yeah we did dude we are just too sick we are just too sick carols cold let's go dude that's 800k as well dude we're making bonk bro let's freaking go a one of four attack this task is absolutely horrible to find the world for because it's just bots and alts and it's really really annoying please check let's do something about it <laughs> oh wow <laughs> Arikse rope skirt. Nice, beautiful. That is awesome. Dude, that's a good, good item. Let's go. Oh, I'm 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 happy with it. what is it? it's a hybrid. Okay, I never knew that actually. Sick, nice, progress. Any back to back? <laughs> yes, Ferrix Bressers. Let's go. Dude, farming barrels, bro. Easy freaking game. Let's go. And we get back to back to back. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna close it. Can we get back to back to back? Never lucky. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is my final farm run for forever. We got 120 farming. It's done. No more daily farm runs. Only dailies to do are ports, and the rest is not time gate anymore. So the completion escape. I'm smelling it. <laughs> 
Um, okay, so we got 120 farming and I thought maybe time to spend our beans. I should have enough. These are the things that I need to buy still. So I needed to buy six of these or is that the, wait, was that the requirement? Been there, done that. Fair enough. Okay, well, that was the requirement. The wiki said that I had to buy six farm totals, but apparently they were not right. Let's see if we can get the other one. Uh, and then here comes the next farming related requirement, buying all the pens and everything from Anachronia, which I don't know. Well, I mean, I will be using it as soon as i uh if i ever go in log which i might do no this is not the last one this should be the last one. yes there we go there it is been there done that got the postcard let's go another one everything farming related for completion escape is done also during those farm runs i made 12.6 mil from produce obviously i spent way more on tree seeds but that doesn't matter 12.6 mil now yay holy shit let's go Let's fucking go! My call is, is that the World Guardian? No, no, no. My my call is that the World Guardian is an actual god. But it's not just revealed. I don't think it's revealed, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Here, and I was like, no, 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 no. Play it, play it, play it, play it. And everyone was just like, dude, why are you so passionate about this? And I was like, dude, just wait for it, man. Just give it some time. Just listen. So guys, listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> You can't make this up, man. We literally did this entire requirement without touching Dungeoneering at all. Let me quickly get the achievement out of the way. That is so funny, man. Let's go. Yeah, this is probably the most expensive price check I can get from my clue opening. Um, This is from 500 Hard, because obviously I still have some stuff in the bank. I'll, I'll be dissembling it and making it into alchemical onyxes, because that is the best way to convert fortune components into direct cash. So this will be a bit higher because of fortune components converting... Like a forge component is worth more than the actual price. So we made a lot of money. And there's the last money made. Nearly another 500 mil to be added to the already huge loot. But honestly, clue scrolls are just incredible. So we'll cast tech will be over 1 mil again, which is really, really nice. That's huge for the account. Okay, so um, it's never good to just have money sitting in your cash pouch. If you can do upgrades, always do upgrades. So I got myself a Grimoire for when I finally learned the rotation with uh, Cryptloom and the fsoa but for now i'm using a lot of range so i am going to be using this on getting the resolution prayer for range so there you go big upgrade money spent still 300 mil left i just went afk i don't know if these are actually rare but i did get another blowpipe feather from the crafting stations in the dream of iowa oh no Okay, so on an actual serious note, I did get the essential oils, which is the upgrade to the spa. So that means I can upgrade everything in the base cap now, which is quite good. <laughs> Kaplum top, easy. A few moments later. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, that's not a bad chest. And uh, someone else also got a Cryptloom top. So, um, <laughs> great hour. Easy 1.3 bill. Lol. Hey, 118 Dungeoneering. Two more levels to lamp. I mean, um, train. We're just working on it. If you want to know, like, what requirements are still left, you can do exclamation mark com. Link in the description. General, I don't know. I just thought it would be a fun idea to, uh, to do the quest without guides. I just thought it would be fun. Do we need to kill all the gems? Um... Okay, apparently that's an achievement that you need to do. Well, another achievement to the collection. We are killing some random captains in a dungeon under the ground. I don't think I actually need to kill these for the quest, so we move on. Um, <laughs> Jagex? <laughs> Why is there a zombie hat that is made up by a girl with a freak that has a whole catalog of women's stuff clothing? You do you, my guy. You do you. Oh, God, bro. Boom. <laughs> I just got yeeted. <laughs> What do you mean not no flying in RuneScape? You're summoned of devastation from the sky. Yo, bruv, I'm ready, man. I'm ready to be in. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I'm using a... <laughs> I'm using a freaking bird to rain devastation from the sky, aka launch some turds on this, um, on these mobs. That is so funny, man. I can actually hit one of them. That would be insanely good. Boom! Dude, this is the content we come from for, bro. See ya! <laughs>
I'm a bomb thrower, bro. I'm on a freaking kill streak. What do you Tactical know about Call of Duty? See ya. The gunners keeping the adventure from docking have been dealt with by Baron from Hatton Crapper. <laughs> what a day, bro. That is amazing. Who rained death on them from the skies. It should. I should swim back to Bill and let him know. <laughs> Pillage. We shall pillage it for London, the surgical mask. Oh yeah, it's a COVID thing, isn't it, bro? Let's restore the ship. Takes a little while. Fully repaired. Let's go. Where are you? I will take out your entire battalion. Oh wait, we got him. We got him. We got him. See ya. Come on. You're not getting away, boy. You don't run from me, boy. My girl, my girl, knack. All right, Bill, in your wank bunker, bro, with your no, 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 don't be, don't be, don't be, don't feel sorry. There we go. A clockwork syringe done. Dude, that quest was a lot of fun. Um, I, I had a blast with it. So, um, yeah, another quest done and ticked off on the list. Yee, rune memories done. Another quest. I've already done this on my Iron Man, so I just did this with a guide. But, eh, it's... it's eh, I can't imagine what this is like when you're colorblind. With the beams and stuff, having to figure that out when you're colorblind? Yikes. Insane gamer moment. Let's go. There we go. There's our first contract done. Five contract points. We need, um... Another 495 to go. Hey, there we go. Complete then contract, which means we can get something nice. Here is our first upgrade to the plank box. We need to get this last one to get the uh, completionist achievement. Uh, sorry, this one. So that's like in the total 500 points. So um, yeah, we uh, need to get another 150 and 300 point points. But yeah, that's the requirement that I'm currently working on just passively. So you'll just see some clip from this like throughout the video. Well, two upgrades coming in right here. Unlock Dwarven Cannon. Using this kit will unlock Siege Engine Upgrade for the Dwarf Multi Cannon. We will get that because that will speed up the Slayer task. And I also bought the Double Escape Codex from the money at Croesus because it, it will just be useful and it's really just nice. Got to go fast, nice and cheap. It just will help with the cooldown on Double Search as well if I ever use Escape with Clues and with Posse. We have a double, double, double experience. A 104 construction, all from Croce. And a little bit of contract suit. And here is the last purchase for the requirement. Invention gives me the blue. Another completionist requirement done. And another, I guess, semi time gated one. This one is not too bad uh, done. So, pretty much only ports that is really time gated to go. And then the rest is all grindable. It's that time of the month again. No, 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 no. Not that time. But the time that we get our monthly rewards from everything. So, this time we got an umbral chest. Will we get anything good this time? Probably not. Lucky Armadillo chest plate. We'll always want. Right. Okay. Any luck with the oyster? Ah, I mean, it's a fortunate. Any fortunate is good. Giant oyster V2. Never lucky. Bro, I see people pull like four sk uh, skipping tickets, which is like 12 to 14 mil. Well, I mean, I got one fortunate, but still, man, like I never get lucky with these. One crystal key from model. Bro, I could go to Arclays and get like 400 of these, man. Scammed. Scams, scams. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna report this, this thing for scamming, bro. Okay, we did it now. At, at least I'm pretty sure we did it now because I said this the last time as well, and yeah, um, <laughs> we didn't. But I'm pretty sure this is the last one, and that means that we got all the malware recipes from Model of Mod, which is amazing. Left engineering is always good. Yep, we did it. We did it purely of Mother Load Mod. Now let's spend some money. And this should be the last one. There we go. Ocean Master, buy all the advanced potions from the malware district. It's another uh, requirement on. It really sucks spending 10 mil on these because half them are, most of them are not, I'm never using, but hey, oh, it's a requirement and we're one step closer to the completion. Oh man, fuck off. Listen, if you're ever doing Croces, right? Like in like the Croces FC, just a PSA for anyone watching that does Croces in, in FC, you always go an hour. This Kuro Hawk 90 guy literally just 40 minutes in, he's like i'll see you guys bye bye bro that is so freaking toxic i don't put someone on blast in my video i don't care bro seriously if you go into the gross fc you're in for an hour if you join a team unless said otherwise he didn't say anything otherwise so putting you on blast my guy after two hours of grinding here's the blast blast shell you can hold up to 80 doses of extreme prayer post in one in which is insane for uh obviously so i'm gonna be trying to get that stupid cape but yeah we got the shell. Let's get the rest of it done. I see now why people say this like entire progress takes like two to three hours. Jesus Christ. Getting these positive energies and getting the light cores were an absolute pain to get. But we got it. Let's actually make 
the last. This should be the last step. Yes, it is. The last, last. Finally made. It's done. And it took so long, but it's so, so nice to have. Beautiful. Let's try Zuck. Please, let us be successful. Oh, I hate this game so much. Why do you make such shit time-gated content? That is, oh, that is failable, man. Honestly, oh, it's so depressing. It's like, wh what I hope that the developer who made this piece of content fired. was fired. And if that's it, someone who did great work, I don't care. This sucks. I don't know if you've noticed this during my clip, but there's been a bit of a time between the last clip and this clip as well. To be fair, you probably won't notice it with how I edit things. But as you can see by my inventory, there are three very expensive weapons in my inventory and I no longer have my frag staff for armadillo. I've been trying to go for the Zuck Cape and honestly, it has really been burning me out from RuneScape. I just can't get it. It's just not my piece of content. I can do all sorts of PVM content, but just wave based content just it does something to like it genuinely pisses me off to such a extent that i just don't want to play the game and i feel like if i would do an fsoa rotation without the cape because omni power wouldn't be so strong i just it feels like a waste and and i'm always someone who doesn't preach about efficiency but i don't know i just i just no i just i just couldn't and i really really enjoy using rage and i think with the new meta with the new uh, bow coming up, I generally think that there will be a range meta coming up. So I bought myself a Saren God Bow for the spec. I'm probably going to put this in the EOF. So it's going to be a very expensive EOF. Um, I also bought myself an Elder's Crossbow. And I also bought myself a Blightbound, a Blightbound Crossbow. Because I just had the money to buy it. And I still have some money left as well. Probably going to perk out the Elder's Crossbow properly. And obviously the Saren God Bow is going to go into an EOF. But um, overall, I think this will make me enjoy the game a lot more. And I know it might not be the best in sort style anymore but it still does a truckload of damage and i think it would be great to learn how to use the elder scrolls well so yeah i just want to kind of give you guys an, an, an pvm update so if you're wondering hey where did the fsoa go uh this is where it went i just want to enjoy the game man. like i generally wasn't having fun i was literally not logging in because of that stupid staff and because of suck so yeah just uh, thought i'd give you guys a bit of a longer update clip on that one